Hey guys, here's your all new program design review. It's a, I'm going to try to keep it very short and sweet. Um, and so with that, let me just put that into the proper box here. Uh, we do have Move It coming up for Chicago. So if you're not practicing it, I'm just throwing it in there for the start. As a reminder, the yellow are just to give you a purpose at each station, possibly some edutainment. The green is where you'd want to start, and the orange is to consider whether or not that exercise is going to work. It could be based on uh, a limitation with equipment or even whether or not the majority of your people can do the exercise. So I'm just going to go left to right here with this really quick. This is the Friday, Monday, Wednesday workout of week 28. This is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, rotating around the room. This is not the week where we have the unilateral exercises uh, for your second and third round. So this is not the week where I'm going to encourage you to superset, but more so doing everything as its own circuit. All right, so uh, you're gonna wanna, with the double uh, leg jackknife with dumbbells, you'll wanna keep the weights light for them and help with form, making sure that they are getting their upper and lower abdominals working together, getting that leg raise and that crunch. Uh, for the ropes, as always, you know, you can provide a target, uh, you know, making sure they're getting those ropes nice and high, move them fast, play a little robot rock when you demo, that has a good drum roll in the beginning. Uh, the kettlebell walking swings. Uh, so, you know, that's one to help with technique, you know, feet together, feet apart, right? Getting that swing. Uh, so kind of getting them into that, that rhythm. Uh, there's a good song, Savage Swing. I play that a lot. Uh, I'll put that in there. I think it's right at about nine seconds when you're doing that one. You want to kind of skip over so you can get right into the swing, you're having the hip swing. And then the uh, sandbag log hop to the burpee. You'll be challenging the pace on that one. Uh, it's a good exercise. TRX bicep curl. Of course, as always with the TRX, we challenge the foot position. We monitor the hips. Uh, very important. The dumbbell power lunge is highlighted green. Why is it highlighted green? Because that is one where you're going to help them really get that movement pattern down. They're going to feel a little confused at first, uh, but when the leg is up, the dumbbell is up, and then when they switch and the uh, leg goes down, the dumbbell goes down, it's back and forth. Great exercise. I, I think it's definitely uh, one that has a lot of application for DECA. I think it will help people do better with those weighted lunges and just have more of that explosive training that they need. Uh, the battle rope alternating hooks, you know, you can play a little rocky music with that one, challenging the pace. Kettlebell, split squat, overhead press. I like to actually press at the bottom of the movement. I like to play that song, Circle of Life, is actually what that is. I call it the Mufasa exercise. Um, but anyway, I find that people get a good little laugh when we do it that way. And pressing at the top or the bottom, um, some would say the bottom's a bit more challenging, but either way, it's still that uh, split squat with the overhead press. The sandbag alternating single leg deadlift with that, the diagonal chop. I've just highlighted that orange because I personally like the option uh, more than the exercise. I find a lot of people struggling with that one. So there's the option, which is the B stance, and then just coming up by that B stance for a little twist. If you find that a lot of people are struggling, you may want to go with the option more than the main exercise. Uh, TRX, single leg or single arm, T row. Okay. Uh, so with that one, uh, challenge the foot position. Uh, this is a high five opportunity, or should I say low five? <laughs> low five, low five opportunity. Um, so just a little. A little tip on engagement, you know, as you're coming along and, you know, you're getting them to really reach back, you know, you can give them that little five as they're coming back. It gives them a target, allows them to really twist that torso outward. Third round, dumbbell squat, bob and weave. Shout out to Brooklyn for this. That's cool. Um, Jeremy was engaging in the video with the punching mitt. You can be too. Uh, so uh, just kind of helping them understand that new movement. It's essentially just a, a squat where you're coming up more to one side and then to the other. Um, battle ropes, one, two, three, switch your feet is the cue that I use here. You're challenging the pace, the kettlebell push-up, challenge range of motion with this. Yeah, you wanna challenge your range of motion on that kettlebell push-up, making sure they're getting all the way down. Um, no butts left behind. Uh, they're lifting a leg with this one, challenging the core. So a lot of good stuff happening. 
Then uh, the sandbag side shuffle strikes challenge in that pace. TRX iron legs. I like to introduce that one where I'm like, someone say iron legs, say iron legs. Uh, he's a pirate, sailed the seven seas. But it gets people to remember what they're doing there. So good little activity. Six pack shredder, shredder, shredder. Cindy Lowe should announce that one. Uh, lots of good core activity going on here. So uh, really meant to uh, help them work on those six packs. It's going to be a six pack summer. You might want to play that little song. It's a, it's a country song, but six pack summer. Um, I'm not saying play it for your actual exercise. I'm saying play it as you're leading into your demonstration of those exercises. Uh, definitely a show and go type of thing here um, as you lead into it, just as a reminder. Okay, so there is the Friday, Monday, Wednesday review. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'm going to stop this recording in case you only need the Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday review.